Hey guys, Shiver 1000 here. Got Monkey. Hey. And we got Bruno down there. Yeah. Get out of the house for a little bit. It's a nice day at 70 degrees. Yay, finally. And uh, we're going to walk back in here where we camped out that one time. And um, we'll set the drone up in the air. Maybe get some um, drone footage. Maybe get over top of the river and get some of the river for you. But So we thought we'd take a little hike. It's only a mile in and a mile out. But I'm already feeling it. so And I'm not even a quarter mile in. So, But we're going to get back here. I'm going to take my time. We've got plenty of time. We're going to have some fun. Stick around. people over there doing yoga <laughs> then you got campers and here's the water so pretty and there's the Bruno man hanging out just nice to get out of the house so stay tuned so guys he's gonna do a for, uh, format the card because of my I used it on my camera so he's trying to get some footage with the card that I have and he's doing an update on his drone and it's almost done so we're gonna try to get some footage here if we can with my SD card so that's what he's doing we'll be back okay guys so what happened I got about a minute of footage for you because some reason my memory card wasn't in my camera or in my drone mm -hmm. and for some reason wasn't going into the phone so I used her car and I fiddled with it for a minute a couple minutes and I got it to take I think it was a minute 36 seconds of video I'll throw some of that in but so now I gotta go home and find my card so, the drone crashed. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. the drone didn't crash. I crashed it. It was pilot error. And, uh, it was about 30 feet. I got in these trees and it said, Phew, went down and, but still flying fine, huh? Yep. So that thing's tough. It hit hard right on the nose. Camera and everything still works. The gimbal still works, so. But, it's okay. I'm sure it's not going to be the only time it's crashed, but it's broke in now, so. <laughs> but nothing broke. That's good. But we got the, like the insurance on it. 
in case I crash it and break something, then I can send it in, have it repaired or rebuilt or whatever needs to be done to it. So that's cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I thought this time I better get it. <laughs> yeah. But I had it, how, how high did I have it? 411 feet. Mm -hmm. I had it up. So, anything like over 400 feet, three, 393 feet, I think, it'll give you a warning. <laughs> yeah. That you're too high <laughs> to check and make sure you know which where we're at. We're cool with, you know, we're. I was allowed to be that high. But I've seen a video where a guy had his over 900 feet. Yeah. Yeah, so. But I couldn't see it at 411 feet. I could not see it. You can hear it, though. You can hear it. Mm -hmm. But I <laughs> couldn't see it. No. But through the screen, I could see where it was. Yeah. Um, I just took it up just to just take it up a little bit. I took it straight up. And then we flew around for a little bit. Monkey flew it. Yeah. Is it hard to fly? No. Nope, it's easy, isn't it? Too easy. Got GPS and all that. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> don't want to crash it and break it. That's your whole thing, you know, you don't want to crash it. Well, it's broke in now, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> i tell you what, it goes. Yeah. It'll be I put it in nice sport easy. mode. What I have it up to? 27? Yeah. 27 miles an hour, and it was picking up. I didn't have enough room to really get yeah back there but it was moving out pretty good so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. but i'll mostly be running in cinematic mode it goes a little slower but that's so you can get better footage and better uh pictures which like i said i couldn't her memory card wasn't working in it so i don't know what happened to mine she bought me a it was a big one, I think 128 gig or something. So, I have to go home and find it. and We'll get it back out here in a couple days. Maybe I'll fly it there at the house a little bit. And, uh, still got to get used to it. But, so we're heading back down the old dusty trail here. To the truck and heading home. So, I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Hang tight. See what else we can see. Maybe we'll see some wildlife or something. I don't know. Trying to teach Bigfoot. Trying to teach Bruno how to Bigfoot hunt for me. But, he does his own thing. <laughs> so, next time I get asked questions, ask about, is he a service animal? Yes, he is. What kind of service does he perform? Well, I can't see that well, so he lets me know when a Bigfoot is near. <laughs> Okay guys, so we got these. As you've seen, I picked off the tree. Monkey's got hers. She thinks they're clementines. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're them or tangerines, but they're small. Now, we was up there and uh, there was a, we was taking a break on the way in where we had our supper on the boat. Well, off the boat actually, but mm -hmm where I made the food and heard that bear. Okay, I just heard something big right in there. It sure didn't sound like armadillos. I mean, this thing sounded big. But, uh, they, they was up in there. I was gonna take you down on the dock, but there was people that were fishing. So, but they had, there's uh, two trees there with uh, wild lemons lemon trees and they get huge man they're like the size of apples mm -hmm. but i thought i seen a lemon tree on the way in this might have been what i seen 
but I could have sworn I seen the lemon tree on the way in. I was looking for it on the way out, couldn't find it. But we're gonna try these out. Let me see if I can they get smell, you. They smell good. I smell don't know good. if I can get you set up here. Let me see what I can do. Hang on a second. Okay, so we're peeling them. Mm, they smell good. Oh, you should smell it back in there where I walked in. No, oh, they are so good. I can see juices just flying out of them. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, yeah. These are good. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little bit. Oh, that's Now we best. know where they're at. Uh-huh. I should have got a bunch more. But... Wow. You didn't wait. You didn't think me. Mm. They do have the uh, seeds in them. Mm-hmm. But they are wild. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sweet and sour. Yeah, they're full of flavor. Yes, full of flavor. Mm -hmm. What did you say you think they were? Clementines. Clementines? Mm -hmm. They're smaller than a tangerine. Because Florida used to be all citrus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Citrus grows everywhere. Mm. Lots of seeds in these, so. But they're they're good. Well, there's one seed in each one. I got two in one. Well, there's mm. at least one seed in each one. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. They're good, though. We're going to finish our snack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one had two seeds in it. We should keep some of them. We'll get back with you as soon as we get to the house. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so that was our little adventure for today. I had to get out. As you guys know, I haven't been feeling well, but it's a nice day. Had to get out of the house for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. So we did. And those orange things were good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, picked right off the tree, fresh. I should have grabbed a bunch. <laughs> we know where back they are. For your mom, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're really good. And there's wild oranges or wild lemons down there too. Well, we are in Citrus County, <laughs> but there used to be just orange groves, lemon groves, and just yeah, yeah just citrus. citrus all over Florida and. Uh, it's not so much now. I mean, you, there's still orchards. There, I mean, that's what it used to revolve around with citrus, you know, yeah. the orange industry and lemons. And so, yeah, that's, so I had a good time. Yeah, it was a nice day. Gorgeous out. Yeah, 70 degrees. Yeah. Light breeze. It's just perfect. Yeah, it was a perfect day. Not a cloud in the sky. You know, a lot of people were out and about too today. They're yeah. getting tired of being inside, you can tell. So, yeah, we, we're not used to the cold here. We're used to warmth and going and out and outside a lot. So. Yeah. When we can't go outside, it's like, ugh. But see, it's perfect camping weather here. Yeah. It gets cool in the evening mm -hmm. and nice during the day. Yeah. Uh, you know, up north, you just, you know, you're digging snow to put your tent up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we're fortunate. It was nice. Mm -hmm. Had a great day. Yep. Sorry I couldn't get more footage for you, so I'm going in right now and look for my damn memory card. Mm, it's somewhere. And I'm going to have to check on some ba extra batteries because I was getting low. It was giving me uh, a low battery uh, warning. It starts beeping and it tells you battery critically low. <laughs> Yeah. I was just I was gonna let it run out and see what see what it did, but I think I think it just starts to land, so Yeah. We'll get you some new batteries and get you something to hold your stuff right here for yeah, you. Yeah, hold trying it to hold the controllers. On my and chest, stuff. you know, yeah. and then they got like a, a cover. Yeah. So it blocks the sunlight so you can see your screen. So Yeah, you need that, I yeah. think. It would help. Just extra accessories we'll get as we go. Yeah. By the summer, we should have everything, get some good footage for you guys. So, mm -hmm. tried today, but uh, at least you got to see some treetops a right. little bit, maybe some water. I don't know what all I got. But. Mm. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. <laughs> Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. Gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Take care. <laughs>